Today I'd like to try something uh, new, which is a review of uh, some of the patches from the Art Art Multiverb 3 that they got very cheap on eBay, I think for around 60 or 70 euros. Um, I won't show you all the FX that are on there, like for example it's also has the capabilities of sampling, but uh, I did not try this out yet, might do in the future. However, that's basically a multiverb uh, with multi-FX featuring on reverbs, uh, flanger plus delay and also like um, combining some of these effects. And yeah, I'd like to show you some interesting effects that at least are interesting for me or might in sound interesting. Therefore, I want to make use of some of my machines, uh, like for pet sound, I'm going to use my virus B, then the Moog DFAM for some effects and finally the Mini Brute um, for some arpeggio lead sound. So that's actually easy to compare some of the sounds and see where they might fit best. Hope you like it. So what you actually see here is my uh, studio setup. Uh, what I did is uh, I recorded three samples of the JX3P, the DFAM and the Mini Brute. And I am including the multiverb as an external audio uh, effect in my Ableton Live so that I can send this as a send effect through the hardware and that it's coming back here. Let me show you the dry sounds and how they sound like. This is the Jake's free p pad. Then here we've got the DFAM effect. And finally, let's listen to the mini brute sound. Now let me add the effect here to some of these sounds and then you can just straight listen to them.
Obviously, I did not show you all the presets, but just some interesting patches that at least I think are quite interesting to listen to. Uh, I do not care really about the best church hall or the best delay or so, because I believe that plugins are way better in there and also way more flexible. Uh, however, uh, why I got this machine or why I was interested in it was because of the pitch shifting effect. And yes, for example, in Ableton Live, uh, you can do offline way better pitch shifting effects and so on. but you know, like this machine adds some digital dirt, I would call it. That's also, again, getting interesting, right? So especially if you're doing like electronic music or techno at all. Uh, so it's adds this digital dirt that I I think is quite interesting as well. Um, yeah. And on the other hand, some patches remind me of, you know, like the famous Eventide machines that are way more expensive. Um, so what they did is basically having blocks like delay, equalizer, flanger, blah, 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 and so on in a sequence. And that's also what this machine is doing. It's just not so famous. So if you find one and you also think that the patches are quite interesting, try and get one and let me know in the comments what you think about this box. And yeah, talk to you soon. <laughs>